What's up, y'all? It is Friday, so you know what time it is. Another edition of On the Needle. And today I'm talking about one of my favorite singers and just musicians, period, her. So it's probably gonna feel weird to speak about her and use her name. You know what I'm trying to say. But <laughs> but this album is uh, it was released in 2016. And it's actually two EPs put together plus some new songs. Um, it's her volume one, volume two, and then it has previously unreleased or new songs. So um, one of the biggest ones right out the bat, uh, right off the bat is um, Focus. Um, love that song. Actually, now I can't hear the song without thinking of Miriam. She's another, uh, pretty popular YouTube content creator and she posts these delicious recipes and she always says, can you focus on me when she's doing her videos? So if you know, you know. But that's one of my favorite songs on here. Um, and then she has, um, I might have got cheated. I just realized that because I think it's supposed to have best part on here too. So I think that was maybe like the re-release uh, but anyway, it, it jams. I love it. Uh, I love this whole album. Uh, some of my other favorites are, let's see, Wait For It. I love Facts. I love Lights On. And I would say Say It Again. Those are probably my favorites. But I really love the whole album, in my opinion. It's a no skip. And I think it's great to have in your vinyl collection because this is the very beginning of her. Um, this is the album cover here, and a lot of her mystique when she first came out uh, kind of remind me, reminded me a little bit of Sade, um, just how mysterious she was, um, with the exception of you didn't see her face. I mean, you just heard the music and you knew she had this big hair and it was kind of like this silhouette, much like is on her album cover. And now you're starting to see, you know, she's wearing maybe a little bit more uh, sexier clothes. Um, she's showing her face more often, um, speaking, doing interviews and things of that nature because she really didn't even do a lot of interviews back then. Um, and I think it's really cool the way that she built her career because she did it where you had to fall in love with the music first. And then you notice like, oh, she looks great. And you know, she's entertaining when she's doing interviews and she has a great background and life story and uh, kind of this complex heritage and things like that. So I think that's, that's really cool. And it's something that in my opinion, a lot of artists should lean to. Um, a lot of music now, I feel like it leans heavily towards sex and if you're going to sell that and then you have to find out that the person is talented afterwards. So just my two cents, but it is a double vinyl. So when you open it, um, you see this kind of picture spread here. Um, no major thrills with the records themselves. They're black. Um, it's just a black sleeve like this, so I won't bore y'all with taking that out because you already know how a black record looks. And one thing though that is pretty cool is there is this insert um, on the inside that has all of the lyrics to the songs. So it's pretty cool. And she writes, you know, she, she writes her own music. Um, she actually is one of the executive producers of this album as well, um, along with Walter Jones and Jeff Robinson. And if you all remember, she actually won a Grammy for this album, uh, Best R&B Album. Um, I believe it was the 2017 Grammys. I think it had to have been because this came out in 2016 where she won that. And then it seemed like she just really took off after that. So it's hard to believe that she's been out for about eight years now, but as far as commercially that we've known her at this point, it seems longer 
than that, in my opinion. Um, but she's done a lot in this eight year span and, and collaborating, collaborating, excuse me, with other artists like Tony Braxton and Mary J. Blige, um, Alicia Keys, you know, all these people that she's worked with, Jasmine Sullivan. Um, and I just, I just love her music. I love this album. I want to get the first studio full length album that she put out, um, I think it was a couple years ago now, uh, back on my mind. So I need to look that up. Y'all know where I can get that at a good price. Let me know in the comments because that's one I would love to have in my collection as well. And curious to know, what are your thoughts about her? What are your thoughts about the artistry, the music, just her as a musician? And what are some of your favorite tracks on either volume one, volume two, or this compilation, um, or even as she called it, the B-sides, which was um, after volume two that she released. So let me know your thoughts. And as always, thank you all for tuning in. Thanks for the new subscribers that I've gained this week. And until next Friday, peace.